Good morning, sir. Who am I talking to? Good morning. I'm Gary Bauman from Atlanta, Georgia. And what are you flying here today? Uh, this My choice today is a P-51B. It's modeled after a uh, fighter that was flown by a Captain Dwayne Beeson in World War II. He was a commander of the 334th uh, under the 4th Air Force. And um, he got 23 and a half kills before he got shot down in 1944 and captured. And uh, was liberated at the end of the war. Went back to Boise, Idaho, which was his hometown. That, his airplane was named the Boise B. He flew not only a, a P-51s, but he flew P-47s as well and got several kills in P-47s. And after the war, he came home and about three years after uh, surviving uh, bailout over enemy territory and capture and um, all the privations that happened there, he went home and died of throat cancer about three years later. And uh, the airport at Boise, Idaho is named after him. It's called Beeson Airport. So I saw this in a, in a book on uh, World War II aces. I liked the way the airplane looked and so I decided to uh, model the airplane after Dwayne Beeson's airplane, the Boise B. So you'll see it flying today. Very cool, very cool. Get it ready, let's see it go. All right, I'll be ready here shortly. So did you uh, build that from a kit or is that from uh, plans? I started out with um, kit plans, actually. I think it was an easy built kit plan. And I, I redrew the plan to conform to the three views that I had of, of this P-51B and by that time I kind of uh, abandoned the idea of kit plans and ended up with my own plans and this is what you see as a result. It's a labor of love, believe me. But it's really worthwhile when you see, when you see it fly and uh, what happens is a 67 year old man is transformed back into a 12 year old kid running down a wheat field chasing a, a model that that he's built with uh, his 10 cent testers glue and that uh, 15 cent 3 by 36 uh, 16th inch balsa. Remember those days? Sure they were, do. They were really something. And uh, what that led to was uh, uh, applying to and being uh, appointed to the Air Force Academy and uh, graduating from the Air Force Academy and going to pilot training and flying airplanes all over the world. So it's no telling where these, these models can lead. And uh, for me, it's, uh, it's been a wonderful joy all my life. Uh, it's been a wonderful uh, vocation. And uh, now it's a, a great hobby and a great sport. So I've uh, really been connected to aviation for a long, long time. Okay, well. We're getting ready for our first mission this morning, and uh, when I uh, finished this airplane, I tried to remember back what it was like when I flew uh, in Southeast Asia, and the airplanes over there were maintained at night, and flown during the day, and uh, the tropical rains and the beating sun and everything from Southeast Asia beat the airplanes up. Uh, they had pieces of bare metal all over them, uh, patches that weren't painted. The paint took a beating from the sun. And the airplanes generally were very ratty looking. I mean, they didn't look like they came right out of the factory in Farmington. They were, they were nasty looking. And uh, everywhere where the maintenance men crawled off, all over the airplanes that wore the paint off, uh, where they put it, uh, the JP-4 and the fuel tanks, it's all beaten up. So I tried to, tried to add those kind of details to this model to just kind of show a uh, kind of show a, a uh, combat aircraft rather than something that was right out of the factory. So excuse the rattiness, but hey, that's the way they looked uh, when they were in action, and probably the same way in World War II as well. So that's the reason you see the the look of this airplane. And I just broke a motor and. Of course, that happened to the real guys as they taxied out. They might have blown a jug and had to go back in and get maintenance. So we're going to do maintenance on this airplane, and I'll be back later. Thanks. And then a left turn out someplace.
part of oh man, I feel so terrible. Part of flying is the thrill of the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. And uh, today I just got the agony of defeat. Oh man, fifteen hundred acres to fly on, and I hit a downwind lawn chair. So uh, I'm disappointed. Well, I guess uh, you'll give it to the flight crew tonight, and they'll uh, start working on it and get it up in the morning again, right? Well, yeah, we'll. Uh, we'll we may write this off. This is, this is a, maybe a class 10 or whatever they call a write off. And we'll just take a bulldozer and push it over the side and into the scrap heap and, uh, and call it a day. But uh, we'll be back next year and uh, maybe with a bigger and even better one. So thanks a lot for the opportunity to show you what I could do. Well, thank you for showing us. You're welcome. All right. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. All right.